What is going on guys? Auditing America here. I'm with Chase from the Allen Report, Bucket Boy News. Share, like, and subscribe to all of our pages. We're doing a First Amendment audit at the Town Hall. We're in Wyndham, Connecticut. Let's see if they respect our First Amendment right to video record in a public place. Share, like, and subscribe. Woo. Very nice building. Hopefully the employees that are working inside are as just nice as the building. Let's see if they respect. Thank you. Hi, which way? Um, do you work here? Yeah, how can I help you? What services do you guys provide? So the revenue collector's there, the town clerk's office is here, okay. probably upstairs. What okay. are you looking for and how can I help you? We're just working on a video about the building. Oh, okay. Thank Great. you very much. You're very welcome. We have a nice ballroom up on the third floor. The ballroom, you said? Yeah. Very nice. We're very nice. Is the mayor in today? No, uh, he is not. But our town manager should be coming back soon. We just had a meeting. Cool. Nice. I know, cool. it's peculiar that everybody asked you. What was the meeting own. about? Oh, just an uh, just a, 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 a administrative department had meeting. So okay. okay. So, yeah, Very nice. So, if you have any questions. Yeah, yeah, and your name was? Uh, Hi, I'm the town clerk. I'm Patty Spruance. Patty Spruance. Very Hi. nice to meet you. Hey. Chase. Hey. Nice to meet you. Every day. All right. We'll see you around. Thank you very much. How are you? Good. Why do you have your phone out? Working on a video. Yeah, shut it off. Shut it off? Yes, you can't have your, your video going in the courtroom. Is this a public area? You can't have a video going. We're, is that... a sign that says there's no cell phone use in our courtroom. Is that like a law? It's... Is that a law or is that policy, man? You would have to call the chief clerk. Because by law... The First Amendment states we have a freedom of the press in public buildings. The public buildings is paid by we the people, taxpayers. Can we ask you not to use cell phone? But is that a law or is that policy? Because you cannot, because oh, policies do not Take trump my rights. Step out into your policies problem. don't trump my rights. And I don't want to say why you're getting upset, Mr. I'm not raising my voice to you. Because you're over talking me. Well, because you're I mean, trying to trump it's, my rights. It's, we're not trying to be rude. I mean, <laughs> we're just working on a story about the building. This is a public place. We're allowed to video record here. Immediately. Yes, just a misunderstanding. I guess somebody will explain to her. I don't understand. We're, we're working on a story about the building. She's telling us to shut it off. This is our job. But this is, you, you have to ask permission here. This is a public. This is the judges. Yes, this is the judges. But this is a public area right here. Talk to her. I don't want to talk to her. I don't want to talk to her. Why, it's, what's the big deal? What's the big deal? This questions this and the fact that the matter is we're doing press work. My Do you know who these people are? Right. Yeah. Where, where, where are the people that pay? I'm accessing the public area. I know Mary Angela was too big to tell me stuff out, but I already did that. Okay. Doing the First Amendment Constitutional Protected Act. Oh, sure. Freedom of the press. Access we're just, do you work here? I do. Are you the manager? Yes. Hi, I'm Enrique. Day, nice to meet you. Same here. We're working on a story about the town hall. Oh, okay. I don't. I don't understand what seems to be the problem. She's very, well, as you can see, she's she's no, very agitated. 
<laughs> at the probate court. So some things, you know, there's confidentiality. Of course, on. we're not here to document anything that's res like restricted information, nothing like that. But unfortunately, that that would be if there was anything on the counter or anything like that, that would be their job to make sure that's taken care of. It wouldn't be. You know, so you guys doing a news story or? Um, we don't really answer questions because we're journalists. We're working because we're conducting the story, but. Um, so far, I mean, this is what we so so to far. Us out. <laughs> yeah, we try to explain to her. We, 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 well, are we still in America? Usually, people call us, you know, let us know that they're doing some kind of, uh, you know, expose or some sort of story or yes. you know, something going on. You know? No, yeah, I, I understand, uh, but I mean, for it's, the it's for a public building, but correct. By the same token, people usually come by to conduct business. Correct. You know, so either with the probate court or downstairs they got the top clerk's we, office or we, they pay taxes. We actually, we're actually want to do a, a, a FOIA request. Okay. Um, but at the same time, we, we're walking around the yeah, building. Yeah, we're checking the building out too. It's our first time in here checking it out. So. Well, they're, they're job, they're supposed to be courteous and professional. They're not supposed to talk I, to us like I, that. Understood, but in the world that we live in right now, as you can imagine, right? Everybody's got to be cautious. Everybody's got to understand, you know, and again, this well, is a place of business. Page, right. yeah, yeah. So you can't share with me who you're doing a story for? Auditing America. Auditing America? Yes, sir. Okay. And um, you guys, to my understanding, you guys have like a ballroom? Yeah, ballroom's up there. That's where the town council does, you know, the, conducts business. Correct. You guys have business cards. Um, um, we'll you give you one. one. We'll give you one before we leave. Oh, yeah. If you have one, we'll take I, I think I have one in the car. So, yeah, we're not. I mean, yeah, we're just she was continue to conduct our. Well, I mean, the pro, that's the probate. Court, I think she's. So. I think she's calling the cops. To be honest with you, and and that's they they should be looking for 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 the well, bad guys. You know, we're not, not law abiding citizens. <laughs> well, again, you have to be. You know what goes on in the world today, right? So everybody has to be in this day and age, right? right. I understand, but you know what I mean? but people's we're trying to be respectful people's too, people's I mean. people's fears. Don't don't trump our rights. This is what our country is all about. This is a First Amendment protected right. right. We I have understand. we have freedom of the press. Okay, but in this building, technically, if you have the business to do, mm -hmm. or if you're doing some kind of news story, mm -hmm. typically, you know, you notify the town manager, and yes. we can do it in a formal setting, right? We can introduce you to departments. We can say, hey, here's how this function of gar local government operates, and here's where people would come to pay their tax or get a building permit or whatever. Yeah, yeah, no, it would it, it would be nice if we did, if we did that, but you know, we know that you guys are here, open for business. Yeah. We decide to to stop by in person. You know, we, I understand. But you also have privacy, privacy, like for instance, the probate court in particular that could be discussing somebody's very private state issues. I so I, I understand there's there's sensitive information in this in in this building, but it's it's the employee's uh, duty to to protect that information. Yeah, you know, exactly. So anything anything that. Anything that, but, but you are reporting, and, and some of that could be correct. And I would not, and I, and, 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 yeah, and I would, and I would not expose anyone's private information ever on 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 any of my articles. But we're just walking around taking pictures, man. Hopefully, hopefully the police doesn't show up because they will be wasting resources. Then these guys have a lot. Uh, Yes, because we're, we we only have cameras here. We don't have we only shoot sixty frames per second. Okay, <laughs> so these guys should be looking for you know bad guys. For three gentlemen to walk into a building and tell me and start taking pictures. I've worked in many municipalities before. Okay, it's kind of unusual. All right. So you know, I give you that. You know, I mean, I give you that, but 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 you got but you got to give me the 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 you know this is our rights. You have the right to come in here. Oh, of course, but we know that. There's also some. Uh, is something to be said to, for conducting business. Correct, which we're going we're about to do. Okay. We're we're gonna do a public records request. Okay. And that's just that's that's about it, you know. This gentleman's gonna give us a nice tour of the building. And you, would you really do that for us? Make sure it's open. All right. Cool. If, if you wander around, you can actually come up, believe it or not, in unsafe places like the third floor of the basement. Yeah. yeah. We wouldn't let the public go there just because. Understood. It's yeah, yeah. We know. Once we know there's the like. It was open to the public. But yeah, no, we know there's private areas in the building. Like, if I was to go in there and walk, like, to the back or anything, I know there's areas that I'm not supposed to go to, but for the... Hi. Hi, how are you? This is Jim Rivers. Hi, our top manager. 
How are you? I'm Enrique. Nice to meet you. Hi. What's your first name? Enrique. Enrique? Okay. Yes, sir. We're working on a story about the Windham Town Hall. We were citizen journalists. We decided to stop by. Excellent. All right. And work on a video about this um, very nice building that you guys have. Yeah, it's a historical building, too. Yeah. It is. Um, unfortunately, we, we, we didn't do much research on the building or, or the town before we got here because we're not from here. But we were around the area and we wanted to come by and work on a video about the, the town hall. And we walked in there and the lady got like really triggered over my camera. I'm trying to nicely explain to her, ma'am, we absolutely have the right to, to be here and conduct business and document it with oh, our- Okay, well there's some areas that there's, there's some privacy issues when you get to the storage Cor probate area. Correct, but you that's- You can't be sitting on somebody's lap when they're going over their family business and I understand, a lot but of the records are also uh, they have a lot. So you're in there with the camera, you could, you know, grab a shot. You know what people do today, trying to I, steal identity and stuff. I, like I understand, that. but that's so, not. But that's uh, probably why it triggered that. Okay. Mechanism. Okay, but yeah, but that's personal, but no, I understand. No, trust me, I wouldn't. I wouldn't take it personal. Um, a lot of our records are public because you know we we use the people's money, money and yeah, yeah. you know you want to see anything, you can pretty much get at it. You yep. Take us some time, and you don't have to come back another day. You have to retrieve the records, but yeah. Uh, everything we do is, is for, for the most other than some personnel stuff. Yeah. But. No, but we know that anywhere that there's a, a, a publicly accessible lobby, sure. we are allowed sure. to, to be. So, yeah, just yeah, the maybe, ready, may, maybe you know, later on in the day, tell them, hey, you know, that, that front desk right there, they we have, we have the right to. Yeah, exactly, exactly, so. exactly. We know that there's back offices. That so where are you guys, you say you weren't from around the area, where do you guys come from? I'm from Orlando. Oh, wow, that's quite a ways. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My daughter lives in Florida, so I, oh, I, nice. I don't know how to drive to Florida. I know. Yeah. Oh, very nice. A hundred times. The there's, days. The hey, days. there's a lot more parking than here. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. <laughs> that's for sure. That's, this, is, this is old, uh, old town. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> this is the worst spot of town right here, so it's, it gets better as you get further away from this building. But, but so, yeah. what can you tell us about this uh, this town? Uh, it, it's an old, you know, we're an older community, like a lot of the communities in Connecticut. You'll see, um, we were, I'll say, a a very wealthy community at the turn of the last century. You know, of the industrial age, we had the biggest thread mill in the in the country here. Um, and uh, you can see by the architecture on the hill up here, it's all, we have the largest amount of Victorian homes on the eastern seaboard per capita or something like that, something, something. You'll see all the homes if you drive around. But we were a very wealthy community back then. Then we went through a period of time, I call it post-industrial uh, era when all the jobs left uh, Wyndham in the 80s and the 90s and we kind of fell down a little bit. And uh, so we're, we're in a reconstruction period uh, a renaissance, if you will, and very soon you're going to see a lot of construction in this area. But uh, our crime rates are way down. Good. Uh, you know, we're we're ahead of the curve on on some of the other larger cities in Connecticut where they're still struggling: Bridgeport, Hartford, with crime and other things. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, they're making some strides, but uh, they're they're still having a tough time. We have, we're, our crime index is half the state average in this city, wow. which is incredible. If you went on the internet and you started searching, you'd find a whole bunch of bad stuff, which isn't all true either, but. Even that partially true is we're past that. We're way past that. So, uh, but we've, we've got a lot of good things going on, but a lot of development uh, on the old Main Street, which is really hard. Uh, these old Main Streets in New England, uh, uh, it's hard to get the revitalization that you really want because you know retail isn't what it used to be. Uh, you don't have industry in these little mill towns anymore like you used to. So, what's going to be that economic engine? We have two economic engines. It's is University of Eastern Connecticut State University is right here, right, I mean, literally right up the hill, 5,000 students, and then we have University of Connecticut, which is eight, nine miles away up the road. So this is the city that serves those two universities. So we're trying to embrace that. That's our new industry and become that educational community, and I think we're starting to make some uh, progress there. So. I mean, you've been really cordial. I think that, you know, how respectful and professional you've yeah. been, I think that you're definitely going to succeed in the route that you want to take. So, yeah, we're, we're, here, we're here for the community. Yeah. Thank you. Hey, Thank nice you. Nice to meet both of you guys. Nice Proud to meet you. Going to all the towns, or um, we're going all, we're, we're going all over the country. <laughs> He's 
He's You're on a journey. Auditing America. That's right. Oh, that's awesome. Good for you. I wish I, I could do that. <laughs> hey, man. I'm stuck here. I'm going to make it happen. You, know? you, can, make it happen. You, can, you can do it too, man. But I do like to go to Florida. I'll be going there in uh, March and April. I'll spend a few weeks. In oh, man. The, the weather's great, huh? My, my daughter lives in Titusville. She lives oh, nice. She works at NASA, or did. Now she's working for Blue Origin. So oh. She just switched. Oh, nice. So she's uh, doing well, likes in Florida, not coming back. Yeah. <laughs> I don't blame her. It's like, what, seven degrees? <laughs> <laughs> this is the worst time of the year here, so it gets better. It's not it's always as bad. Yep. Last week. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> what a week in New England. Yeah. All right, guys. Nice well, you. thank you very much. Thank you. Where are you going next? Um, well, we're going to go a little quick. Well, we're going to this town, but we're we, we headed direction. Oh, we're going, back, we're, we're going back to Florida. Oh, you are? Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, man. Thank you. Nice okay, to meet guys, you. Thank you very much. All right, boss, man. Well, you can see this was a, a classic old building for when it was built. That would have been the front door way back when. Back in the day. Because you'd come up here and you'd come up to whatever town function's going on, your wedding or the town meetings or whatever. How old is this building? Ooh, good, good question. I'm going to say it was probably built, there's probably a number out front. It would be a lot more accurate. I know, we probably missed it. I'm going to say it's 140 it. years old. Wow, 140, huh? Yeah, probably you know, about Civil War time. Probably been, uh, okay. About when it was built. Wow, yeah. And it was, back then we had counties, so we don't have counties around. We still have the names, like this is New London County. But at the time, you had county courthouses. So this was a big regional courthouse for, um, for, uh, for the area. For, uh, Back in the day, yeah. And that would have ended probably in the 50s. And they would do all the, the, all the work right here, the judges, the jury. Okay. There's a really cool out of the movies courtroom upstairs. Um, you really can't go up there because it's not really safe. But you'd see where it would be just like out of a movie from the 30s or 40s where the, you have the, uh, the juror's chambers and the prosecutor's spot and the, and the judge's spot and things like that. Can we go as far as it is safe? Is that possible? It, you'd have to go up two flights of stairs from there. No, so oh, no, 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 no. that's fine. Right. I mean, it, for me, it's worth it for the history, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's actually kept locked off from the folks that you want to work there. Oh, my gosh. Oh, wow, very, wow. And then up there, there's a big balcony area. Yeah, again, it's not, not in use. Yeah. Once upon a time, one way out was good enough. <laughs> wow. That's crazy, huh? This building makes the best haunted house of Halloween. Oh, I bet. You wouldn't believe it. We'd probably get, I was guessing around 3,000 kids this past Halloween. Um, <laughs> because a lot, a lot of kids in this area, a lot of younger people. And uh, we, we, we tour them through, we decorate the whole place. The ladies take probably two, three, uh, weekends to really make this place look scary. Wow, so they really put a lot of work into it. And you can tell just walking around how it sounds. How much I know, I just said like this, I guess like... Yeah, it sounds like, like just like I a haunted house. I've been here at night alone, let me tell you. <laughs> Has anything, have you ever been here at night, some sketchy thing has happened? I've only been working here for a year and a half, but I have, and I have not had to come here other than just in the dark heading home. Alright. Cool, Hopefully cool. You don't hear any ghosts in the night here, you know what I mean? Yeah. Alright. I think we should get going. Get going? Yeah, where's Bucket? Your friend? I saw him walking that he's way. He's still here? here? Oh, for him, water upstairs. Oh, he's so still focused there. on his big coat. Huh? The mill buildings are still there, but we're in a thread. But then there's the frogs, but that's got its own little history. Where, where, it was back before the revolution. Where can we find that? Out? We're moving we're things it. along here. Look for the Great Frog Battle of 1754. We're, we're running up the score. We're running up the score. Give me one second. The Great Frog Battle? Yes. Um, we got to get going. Hey, thank you so much, my friend. You're very nice. Okay, everyone squared away. You know what I'm saying? Right. If we don't call you, I have to Why? Call them clerk. For what? Yeah, I don't know what her name is. Marianne? That's who she was on the phone and said, who do you want to speak with her? 
Yeah, I'm a team with you. What's up, man? No, we're, we're, we're dealing with the unions. Yeah, no. So, uh, they said, oh, we don't respect the show. She goes, yeah. She goes, um, I said, you know, you know who I am, right? I said, Barney's your husband? She was, yeah, I was like, yeah, we were just there talking to Barney in his office. Why they called the other town? They called Putnam, they were Connecticut, town hall's clerk. Why? And that's who asked, who, when she said, is one of you, is one of the three to her on the phone? That was weird. Yeah. I don't know when. Yeah, Barney's wife I was speaking to her on the phone. <laughs> that's weird. Barney from Putnam. That's weird. When she said, who, when she, we were in there, she goes, who, who, who wants to talk to her on the phone? Yeah. And she held the phone up. So I'll take the call. She goes, oh, this is Mary. I said, oh, we, we just spoke to Norm and put them. I said, oh, so you're Barney's wife? She goes, yeah. I said, yeah, we were um, part of the other two gentlemen that were just there talking to your husband. She goes, oh, okay, tell her I'll call back in a minute. And hung up on <laughs> Are we done here? Yeah, let's go. Yeah, All right, gentlemen. Later. Oh no, you can't go that way. Oh, you can't. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry. No, no. No, that's fine, guys. Hey, hey, sorry. Take it. No, you're good. good. No problem. Welcome to the day. All right. Yeah. 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 Right. We're trying to get out, or uh, yeah. That's the main entrance here. There's another way out the back if you want to go out the back. No, all right. Thank cool. you very much, sir. Guys. All right. Take care. I call that one a fifty-fifty. No. No. That was a fail. Well, the, uh, when well, it came the, to the ladies, but when it she, came to them, it was like yeah, yeah, a whole other story. Some, they, they, she failed. And they said shut it off. Though, it came to a whole other story, so that's why I said 50 50. Do the outro. Talk. Bucket Boy News 401 here with Auditing America and Chase from the Allen Report. We just uh, did a First Amendment audit here at the Winham, Connecticut Town Hall. Um. I say it was a failure along with Mr. America due to the fact of the two women that we first ran into and had an encounter with. After that encounter though, the gentleman that we did have an encounter with kind of understood where we were coming from and let us do what we had to do and actually gave us a private tour for no charge. Go figure. Anyways, Bucket Boy News 401 here with Auditing America and Chase from the Allen Report. Have a good day, everybody. Out.